Hello friends, welcome back to the Evil Organization. Uh, in the last video, we commenced and completed a lot of our evil research in order to get into space to spread the seed of our evil uh, everywhere else. But uh, for today, we won't be doing quite as much research because Dimitri's hit a bit of a... like a, a wall. We need to get this multi-analyzer. And then we can get fabrication and advanced fabrication because we need those if we want to make spaceships. And if we can get spaceships, we can get into space. Because they do that. Anyway, um, we need to get that. And we'll also get guest bedrooms. Because... <laughs> well, I know it sounds like it just comes out of left field. But it it's, it's not quite so crazy, you see. Because the only people that really seem to be accepting the organs are the pirate traders who fly in spaceships overhead. And we need to... Well, we need to trade with them. We don't need to worry about other people who would come to visit us because they just don't want organs. So we'll just take their organs and use them for our own fucked up purposes. Uh, we will... So, we will, for that... To that end, we will give them exorbitantly overpriced bids. Uh, and then we will take the last... We'll take their money and then we'll take their body parts. And we have cargo pods. Maybe it's a bunch of kidneys. No, it's a bunch of berries. Okay. Very close, though. So we will leave that, and now we're going to start mining out the cliffs, because I'm thinking that we want the guest bedrooms over here, and go. Okay, we're going to tell Frank and Butch to start mining out, but we want to avoid any of these mountain overhead tiles, because they might have infestations in them, and we don't want to deal with that. We want only organs and money. Uh, we may extend down here, and the reason why I'm extending down here is because this is stone over here on the ground, and w as long as we're not taking up our precious dirt space that we need for planting, I'm fine with that. We pretty much just want to expand out in this area as much as humanly possible, uh, as long as we aren't doing anything with mountain overhead. And we can be sure of all the tiles immediately next to us as long as they don't have a dark green space overhead. Let's just get this, and all of that, and that is fine by me. Let's also start to dig out over here because we didn't quite go so deep into this mountain and we definitely need more space for storage because we're using up almost all of the space that we have for storage and I don't want to go into our prison because our prison is very nice. Holy cow, Frank is just grinding right through these cliffs. We've assigned him almost nothing but mining but now he's level 13 and he's getting done with like an entire wall in a, an hour or two. I've never seen a colonist do that. He's doing as much as my passionless ones did before, which just speaks to how overpowered burning passions and passions are in this game. So really utilize those wherever you see them. Um, let's just start taking out more mountain, I figure, because there's no reason not to at this point. We may as well just expand our own, our whole the seed of our territory as much as possible. Now here we go, let's get out this too, because we don't have to worry about enemies coming in this side. We might not want to get this, because we want to keep a double wall over here. I don't want people, like, sneaking up like that, but I doubt that they will. Yeah, we'll be fine over there. Um, we have a another blight! That's a lie, there's no blight. Uh, I just did not answer it before. I think. Alright, uh, let's get on to guest bedrooms. And Dimitri, you can just grind uh, research there, because we need that multi-analyzer. And fabrication, which is gonna take for fucking ever. Now, a number of you had mentioned to me that our <laughs> our geothermal generator is just uh, generating an enormous amount of heat, as well as you know power, which is great. But we are gonna want to remove some of the roof area in here. I'm just gonna have. Oh, we should also probably take everybody off of this. Let's just go like this. I think it was something like this. Was it like this? Something like that. Oh no, the old school import company. It sounds like they sold skateboard decks or something. Has left trading range. Jarvis, are you gonna... No, you don't do any construction, do you? Butch, I'm gonna have you work on removing that roof. I'm just having Butch remove some of the roof tiles in our geothermal generator because look at the temperature. It's 170 degrees Fahrenheit in here, which is too, too hot for most people. Is he gonna be able to get all of this? Why don't you remove that roof area too? And can you go through the roof? Can you go through this? There is no path there, so he won't be able to take that out. But it looks like it's cooling down in here. <laughs> we won't have some massive random fire situation on our hands. Uh, some people I've seen use that to burn intruders alive, which is kind of 
screwed up, but at the same time, it's a, it's an effective strategy if you can manage to get it to work. Okay, now we have an area revealed. I think we're gonna build the guest bedrooms in here because these cliffs are made of marble. Now we can do... Just mine out all of that because we... Well, we could smooth, but we want to make them spacious and grand as they... <laughs> as they slowly are anesthetized to their own deaths. Uh, we'll leave these... We'll leave these cliffs over here because we don't want to fuck with that. And then... I think that's it. Let's just start taking out some of these other random blocks, and then we'll force, uh, who is it, Neville is doing most of the construction, or the crafting in here. We'll force him to make more, uh, marble blocks, because that's gonna be the most beautiful, and we want our guests to have an excellent stay before their demise. Neville wasn't very good to start, but we've since sent him off to do a lot of crafting. Now, is he, I suppose that he's not gaining crafting skill for doing this, crafting general items including weapons, components, and refined resources. He doesn't gain... No, I suppose that he doesn't gain any skills for, uh... for making stone blocks. That's a real shame. So we'll have to set him off to doing other things because I think that governs the speed at which he does that. At least I would guess it does. We'll take that and we'll put marble all over here. We're just gonna cover the walls in marble. We'll probably smooth all of these floors, which is gonna send the value of our colony through the roof. But in, we have enough to defend ourselves, so I don't really care. We have EMP grenades, and we have incendiaries at this point, too. So most of the threats that have killed me in the past will hopefully not kill me now, because I've generally avoided the same pitiful deaths each playthrough, and I've gotten progressively less bad at the game. We're also renaming one of our Muffalo to Grand Muff Tarkin by Trevor's suggestion. And I will have one Muff Gideon, but I like the other names too much, so we'll have to do it with a baby Muffalo when it pops out. Now, Evil Jim, the daring, thumbless motherfucker, has gone on an insulting spree. And Neville's incapable of violence, so we can't have him do it, so we just have Jarvis chasing after him with a gun to arrest him. Now, please arrest. Please come quietly. Please come quietly, man. Don't insult- No, don't insult him! Don't- Good. Okay, he's being carried away- <laughs> He's being carried away by Jarvis. And we will have to release him. <laughs> You're not gonna insult anyone. You're under arrest. Okay, we're just gonna set him to be released because he should rejoin our colony immediately. Neville has got a, uh, major brick. God damn it, he- We should not have let him insult him at all. We should have just run Neville away from him. I swear, insulting spree is- one of my least favorite of all of the mood go crazy debuffs. Jarvis is now going to release Evil Jim. I guess that means that he has to carry him out of the prison cell. <laughs> Just gives him a big bear hug, releases him. You know what, you're not so bad, Jim. But fortunately, as long as they come quietly, you can entirely avoid this bullshit. Let's just have Evil Jim do that. And why do we have this- oh yes, we have the door open because- no, I hate that. Mo Mooflo too is pregnant. I like that. I hate psychic drones. They're my least favorite event. But everybody in this colony is so glad. <laughs> so glad. Just love psychic drone. What are we gonna do to counteract this? Let's drink more beer. I also just noticed that we have our plant leaves in the main storage room. Yeah, smoke leaf leaves do keep for a long time, but we're gonna move them into our fridge instead, because it's just... Uh, we don't want to lose them, and we want them to have a chance to get all that good smoke leaf. Our muffalo Darth Vader just got pregnant, so now we have multiple pregnant Mephalo. Which means that this one muffalo has gotten all of the other muffalo... Muffle... Muffali? Muffali? The muffalies... Pregnant. And one muffalo is totally capable of having a bunch of children to a bunch of... He has a harem now, this is... It's fucked up, but it's funny. Alright, we got everybody on a minor break risk now because I've gotten inflicted with random shit. Like, scratch... well... People have their thumbs bitten off. We have fibrous mechanites on some of our colonists. And now everybody's just smoking smoke leaf, which is fine, because it'll keep them sane. Okay, we have a cave tender from the Alliance of Galga. She is named Kaxigo Akamda. We're going to organize her. It's just one. Wow. Wow. Uh, let's capture her. Where is Butch? Butch is the one who is good in Mortal Kombat. We will take him. 
And let's get organized. All right, let's try to arrest her. I know I have an assault rifle on me, but I'm also right next to the turret. No, don't hit, kill her, turret. Oh, she's dead. Well, damn. Okay. We couldn't organize her, but we could still use her body for materials. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't make anyone angry at us. <laughs> Literally no one, no one got mad at us. Now, what did you have? You got bruised human fist. Wow, the turret did not shoot Butch at all. Great aim on the turret's part. Great, uh... Oh, no, they've broken down completely. Now they're now hostile to us. They will conduct rape periodic raids. Well, we'll still just take away their organs. Because goodwill negative 75 is... Uh, oh, we didn't capture her. We just murdered her. It was, I, don't, I don't think that's as bad. So let's just... Yeah, let's get the really smashing guest bedrooms ready now. Because we've got hall things. We've got all these chunks in there. We could take those. We could smooth the floors. We could make beautiful marble bedrooms for people to uh, pontificate in or something. And then we'll, we'll get beds and double dressers and just make them lavishly over comfortable if they ever do decide to visit our faction. Which we may not have any more guests if we decide to murder everyone, to be fair. But it's only been Butbium and uh, Galga that have visited us anyway. We're just gonna smooth all of the floors and make the guest bedrooms as lavishly over comfortable as we can. Turns out that Evil Jim was wearing a tainted flak vest, so we got that off of him. And he's also got was imprisoned right now too, so... You know, at the expense of his insulting spree, he's pretty pissed right now. But on the bright side, we're gonna have a lot more nice bedrooms. And I don't think we really need to move our colonists into these, because they're all pretty happy right now. And we had Hyperweave fall from the sky. This is a big deal. Hyperweave is a great material. We're gonna send somebody out to haul this in right away because we don't want it to lose condition. Man, Butch is really going ham on this construction smoothing. He's gotten down over half the room in like one day. So we're gonna have one good room for our guests. Now, I haven't used a lot of hospital. Uh, plague. What the F? What the F? He's gotten sick from the plague. All right, you rest until healed, Dimitri. Uh, I'm gonna need to have Fr Frank has been practicing his fledgling medical skills and is now at level five, but he's like, he's got a burning passion for it. So he's like, I will save you, Dimitri. I will save you from your cold or whatever he has. What well, does he? Is it actually? Is it actually that bad? He's already got fifteen percent immunity. Fucking tank. All right, we're gonna leave him like that. Butch, you can finish smoothing this, but I'm either going to leave the guests in one large bedroom or put them into multiple bedrooms if it makes it more lavish and makes them willing to fork over more dough, aka silver, before they are organized. We're also just gonna run a few power lines over to our guest bedrooms because we want them to have all of the modern mm, amenities. Ooh, I didn't even expect that, but we have evil red lights in the guest bedrooms. Don't you just find that so satisfying? I love it when they make power lines with really high construction skill, because they get it done in about a second. And this is bothering me because I like everything to be a square. We'll just put down one more marble wall right there. Upon further inspection, I don't think that this room is very well constructed because we've still got dirt over here on the floor, and they're tracking that, or they're tracking that into their building, and we want to leave all that dirt outside, so I'm going to add some concrete out here so that if they do track some dirt, hopefully it gets tracked onto the concrete instead, and we do have concrete in here. We'll probably put more concrete out here as well, because I figure that what's-his-face Jarvis needs to get out of bed, and we don't want him tracking dirt there. Yeah, let's just not have dirt anymore at all. Now this I find incredibly satisfying to watch Butch create the concrete floors. He just, he's so quick with it. He's so unbelievably quick. Go make another one, wherever it is you want. Yes, deliver the material. Yeah, I like that a lot. Good, finish him Oh, man, he doesn't do it on the sandbags. Oh, that's weird. Maybe you need to construct underneath sand- I don't know the sandbag meta in this game. But let's get- Oh, yeah, deliver those. Oh, deliver us from dirt, Butch. Go, baby, go. It's so good to watch that. All right. Back to work. A local tortoise has gone mad, and now my turret is shooting all of the nearby boom rats and megas- This is actually quite terrifying. But, fortunately... 
Ooh. That's gonna die. Come on. A turret versus tortoise? Come on. Come on. But the tortoise is in cover now. If a tortoise... A tortoise... A tortoise managed to kill a turret, I will be quite displeased. Come on. Maybe we could hit it with an EMP grenade to shut down its circuits or something. Evil tortoise. Great, good job, evil Jim. You've distracted the tortoise enough, and now we can... Good, good. The tortoise is getting nearer. Egg progress, 29%, for Christ's sake. 23-hour death. Hey, whoa, what was that beep? Okay, great, it's time. Goodbye. Um, evil Jim, you can go back to work. Okay, my soccer mom war on dirt continues, and I'm going to just put more, uh, concrete down here. Make sure that you leave it out of doorways. I've, some of you guys have been telling me about the doormat mods, but, um, well, for right now, I think we're perfectly fine to just use concrete and so on and so forth until we get that. Uh, can we? Great, we can finish that up, and then let's start to get these guest bedrooms out of the dining room and make some sculptures and set up these guest bedrooms so that they're actually impressive. We're just going to set up a few comforts and amenities in our guest bedrooms to maximize the comfort as they stay here so that we can charge them exorbitant amounts of silver and hopefully have them not get angry at us. Uh, we'll do that and then we'll probably plant a few plants in there until we manage to create those sculptures because generally, generally, generally plants are good investment until you can manage to make something more beautiful. They're good, but they do require some maintenance because you have to keep on replanting the plants, so I don't like them in general. And a boom rat blew up, so Evil Jim is now fire-beating Evil Jim. The tortoise is still... Can we put it out of its misery? Let's just end its life. Okay, there we go. Well, it did go crazy. And great, we are fixing this up. And everybody back to work. Let's get those guest bedrooms. Ironically, as soon as I make guest bedrooms, there are no guests because everybody's just learned that I'm an evil, uh, torturing maniac. But let's just see. Tending expires in two hours. Dimitri will live, even though that his, uh, his tending was pretty bad from Frank. And we, we will go on for another research. Since we're running low on wood, I'm also just taking out a few more trees. I'm surprised that I missed this, but there was just a shotgun sitting outside. Not so bad, because we don't really need another gun. We have way too many guns right now, if you ask me, to be honest. But, uh, let's bring that in. And now we've managed to rid the dining room of our heinous guests, and we're going to bring them into our... Uh, let's call it a waiting room, because we'll eventually just have them in here. It's not that I really care. It's just that I might need more time, and I don't want them all to get angry at me if I start kidnapping them, so we'll see how that goes if we get a large faction of people to come and join us here. Oh, 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 Butch just created a masterwork bed. A masterwork bed? What, what even is that? We're going to charge it up. Let's make it cost a hundred sh- I'm going to overcharge everybody. I wonder what that will do to their mood. I think it's going to give them a negative 10 mood boost, so we'll pretty much just wring them dry, and then we'll organize them. And good job, Dimitri. He's doing research. Are you also inflicted with the- He did- He developed an immunity, so he's fine. Oh, Butch is throwing a party! Ah, uh, as if they weren't happy enough already, and he's decided to throw it in the best room and- <laughs> Attending party, wandering. He's decided to attend- to throw a party in the best room in our base. Which is fantastic. We could probably get more recreation variety, and they will start to get picky as we end this. They still have low expectations. I'm surprised that they still have low expectations for some reason. For Christ's sake. We do- we already have an advanced organ harvesting hospital, and you have low expectations still? <laughs> That's dumb. That's dumb. But we have a party anyway. And we're being raided. I love raids. I love me a good raid. Let's just check- uh, Pirates from the Night missiles, didn't they? Didn't they like us a little while ago, though? No, it was- maybe it was the, like, the Phallic Knights or something? We had a lot of weird names to attack us. Uh, let's draft everybody. I love me a good fight. Okay, let's get everybody in here. Sinister ca- Ah, we could have the animals! 
No, I don't want to sacrifice all the animals' lives. I'll do that later on when we start getting attacked by far greater threats and dangers. Let's get you there. Will you be able to see- will you be able to see them from there? No, Dimitri, get in here. Uh, that's- <laughs> that's not a safe space for you. Uh, you won't- we won't need Evil Jim. We wanted him before because he had EMP grenades and I equipped them on him in case if there's any emergency. Uh, whatchamacallit. Now, what- what is his trade again? Too smart, psychopath, chemical fascination. We will give him the assault rifle. But in general, we want to keep the uh, EMP grenades on him because he is far better off with that. And, uh, you know, we should have switched out the armor, but it's fine. We'll be okay. We've also got the turret at our side. Okay, we just killed one. And probably two. Yep, headshot, he's going down. Three. Where is, where is, what's his face? He's st he's just barely gotten his hands on the assault rifle. He's probably not even gonna get back in time. I swear, our guys are just such good shots. Until somebody gets shot in the head and then we're screwed. We could use some headgear. No, don't let Stevie get in. Ooh. Okay, great, she's survived. Let's have Neville capture her. No, don't even capture her. Carry her to a crypto sleep casket. And... Pursue, pursue my... Flying monkeys. We need, uh, yeah, we need Butch for that. Okay, let's go after, is that anime? Oh no, her name is Amy. Sorry. <laughs> Not anime. Let's just shoot her in the face. Please stop. We wish to organize you. Okay, and that is everybody. Wow, well, we got some good junk out of that. Amy Spy. Now, I wonder, was that woman... Was that... I wonder, was that woman Wonder Woman? No, was she, uh... She didn't really have any clothing worth stripping. I hate to say it. He, were you shot now, Frank? You were... You were shot in the left arm. Not in an essential arm. But in a less important arm, if I do say so myself. But let's find out about you. You are... Gonna die in 12 hours? You are an undergrounder with an annoying voice. Well, we will help you now. Let's have Dimitri rescue her. Actually, we'll just capture her, and then we will... I think we're gonna tend, because generally we don't want her to die during the organization. Uh... <laughs> right, the tending quality. So now we will arrange her stay. Hmm. We could use her as a melee bludgeon, which wouldn't be nice, but let's you, let's go about the traditional. We haven't done a, a good traditional uh, harvest in a long time, so let's just go for the kidney, and then the lung. Let's go on the switch sides, and then we'll go for the heart. Where home is, where the heart is. Okay, let's operate. Remember that game, Operation? My sister and me were mad when we didn't get that for Christmas. As children. We as children. Great, a successful harvest. One kidney. Now, is she even going to be aware? We're going to help you because you're upset that your organ is harvested. But, you know, you won't, you won't be around long enough to see it. And then you'll be in complete happiness when it's all over. Wow, two successful harvests in a row. My organ was harvested two times. I guess that that's the maximum amount that you could be pissed. I'm surprised that it was only eight days that they're pissed that their organs were harvested. I would expect it to be more. Not a catastrophic failure. Yes! Wow! Holy cow! He got all three with only herbal medicine in the first attempt. Dimitri has helped so many people. Oh, that is... He is ravenously hungry. <laughs> I, guess... I guess it's hungry work, organ harvesting. Just looking at my kitchen right now, I think when I first started playing this game, I never would have thought that a game with such unassuming graphics would yield such inhuman uh, occurrences. And great, our guest bedrooms are almost ready. We have two of these. We can start to just overcharge them a shitload for what is the what is the maximum amount that we you can charge for a bed? Let's charge somebody just so much for a bed. Let's just see. Can we? Okay, you can't shift click or anything. We're just gonna see how high we can get this. We're at a thousand silver and not stopping. I'm not even sure that factions have a thousand silver. So we'll just have one bed be a thousand silver just to see if 
just to see if it puts somebody in an immediate, like, mood, <laughs> like, temper tantrum. In which case, I don't know, maybe they'll go on temper tantrums and then we could arrest them after they've paid a thousand silver for a bed. And to make it even more interesting, we're just going to put one bed in the room that's completely free. A bed exactly the same, albeit in perhaps slightly darker, uh, slightly darker an area, that will be completely free next to a hundred silver and a thousand silver bed. I don't- there must be some sort of massager in the bed. You know what, let's at least make it the masterwork bed. We'll switch these two around so that the masterwork bed is the very expensive one. Somehow I have my doubts that I think that this will work, but at the same time, it's- it, if, if it does work, it will be glorious. And we have a combat supplier known from Light Mass Securities that is a com- well, of course they're a combat supplier, it just said that they were a combat supplier. Let's trade with them, because they might be able to give us weapons of mass destruction. And Dimitri, I'm sure you're gonna have a great phone call with this man. You're Dimitri- Oh, I forgot about Dimitri's bad health. Well, he's still a social genius, so let's see what he- Ooh, look at all the guns! Look at the marine helmet! Christ, uh, what will they actually buy? They may not buy very much from us at all. We're trading away a couple of EMP grenades, and we're gonna buy an incendiary launcher. There's other stuff in here I want, it's just that it's so expensive. I'm gonna see if I can get, uh... If I can get Neville to- or Evil Jim to haul some of these organs to see if they'll also take that. But they wouldn't take animals, so I somehow doubt that they'll want these things. And why don't we haul that lung? Great. Okay, let's just see. Evil Jim, can you just check if they want organs? <laughs> what, do you guys take organs? No, man, these guys suck. They won't buy- You might need one! In all fairness, you might need one after combat. Let's also just sell- Mm, no, our crap is not that valuable, as much as I hate to say it. If they had a uranium mace, I would take it to. I might want this marine helmet, but I think I'm just gonna go with what we've got here. Unfortunately, but we do now have an incendiary launcher, which can help us a lot against raids, or, uh, infestations, if we ever do a deal with any. And we've managed to finish off our guest bedroom, more or less, it's now at a slightly impressive impress- slightly impressive impressiveness. Uh, and we can now finish off smoothing the walls. I guess they'll be better off if they're all sleeping in one beautiful room, come to think of it. Because I didn't- I mean, one guy had, like, his finger bitten off or something the last time- <laughs> The last time that we let people into one guest room together. But why the fuck is that wild boar in the hallway? For Christ's sake. No, no, no. Wild boar six, were you just born? Well, you get the F out of here. Transport pod crash, this should be somebody. This should be somebody. Erica. Uh. Death in three hours, Christ's sake. God, ugh. Her left thumb was bitten off. All right, well, we gotta capture. Is she gonna be. Is she. Ooh, ooh, the first girl. All right, we're gonna take her. Um, let's see if we can have, help her to survive. She's gonna die in three hours. Will he even make it to her? Dimitri. Okay, Dimitri's researching. We're just gonna get him to the hospital stat. Come on, evil Jim. Come on. We gotta work fast, man. We gotta work fast. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Get redrafted. Get redrafted, son. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, good, 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 good. Is she gonna die? She's gonna die in two hours. Come on, you don't have a lot of time. She had cut, stabbed, and cracked in the left leg and the sternum and everywhere. Come on, Dimitri. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Save that life. Save that psychopath life. All right, now it's not a massive sausage fest. Mind-shattering pain. Ah! <laughs> okay, and she is... She doesn't... Oh, she's a gourmand. 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 Erica's life revolves around food. She gets hungry quickly and will occasionally be overcome with the urge to eat ravenously, even when not hungry. Cooking plus four hunger rate multipliers. Now this can destroy your entire colony, I am told. And I'm told not to do it, but she's also gay. So... Alright, well, I mean, that's cool too, you know. It's, it's great to have that around. Uh, bunch of guys. It's good that she's not straight- well, they- I guess that's even better because they won't all be getting shunned by her because she's just not into guys, so that's great. So then they're all, like, good friends. 
A childhood accident put Erica into a coma. She didn't have to wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. And she's an herbalist. A gourmand who's psychically... Ooh, I don't like that one. Psychically hypersensitive. Well, she should be interesting. Fortunately, she does not have any incapable loves, which is perhaps the main thing I'm excited about <laughs> with this prospective colonist. Let's also just try to recruit her. And... She won't be that hard to get down. And we have a mad boom rat, okay, um... You know what, I think it's just gonna kill itself before it gets here. It looks very small and tame. I'm not too worried about this. If it does get in, we'll just take it at this doorway, because the only real danger would be if it got to Erica, because she's the only one who's in poor health right now. Come on, go to work, turret. Good job, turret. Go, turret, go. Turret. Turret, no, fuck. Uh, okay, Frank, get out there with your gun. Actually, you know what you can do is just have somebody else distract the boom rat because then it gets aggroed to the person and then you get away with the tur- Ay -ay -ay. No. <laughs> there- <laughs> Yes, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Great. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. See you later. Ooh, and it looks like one of our raiders left a, a good bolt-action rifle asset. We're gonna replace- What's his face? Jarvis's bolt action rifle with this. Because he has only a normal one. We just got a non normy one. And you will never do hauling, so. No, you also won't ever do hauling. Alright, we'll have to take our researcher off. Wow, isn't this great? Jarvis is finally making friends with Erica. As, as we go, her opinion of him is going up by several percentages. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so she is now at 12. only 12.2 resistance. Dimitri, meanwhile, is very, very busy at research, but fortunately this gives Jarvis to something to do, since he's such a lazy sack of shit. Oh, except that he does- you know what? He does pull his own weight, though. Now he's getting the Mifalo. And you know what? Uh, screw it, he's not such a bad- maybe he's not such a bad guy. Ooh, boar sex! Look, here it comes. Wild Boar 3 is- is, uh... Doing something to the... Ooh, he's chasing, playing hard to get, eh? All right. Well, that is just fine and dandy. I've got to say that this room is fantastic. She has my... She's extremely comfortable, and she's got an extremely impressive dining room, and that's because we made her a great hospital... A normal hospital bed. But it, this room itself is just beautiful. Like, look at it. It's... Uh, it may look terrible from here, but... She's fully healed. Oh, she's walking again. Oh, she's... She's in love! Wait, no, there are no women here, so she's not in love, but maybe... Maybe another psychopath... Uh, lesbian will fall out of the sky, you know? Maybe one that she likes and that's also a gourmet. Well, we don't want any more gourmets, but... Oh, that is just nice. Okay, cargo pods. Um... Ooh, gold! Alright, free gold. Oh, crap! I forgot that I was missing gold! That's great, we needed gold. Frank finished another sculpture, it seems an abstract. On this carving is an image of a tooth, and it's called Death Number 8. I've also noticed that whenever enemies attack us, they seem to use this cliff for cover, so we're just gonna completely get rid of this cliff so that enemies have no more cover. I figure if we can terraform the battlefield to our own advantage, we might as well just do it. Also, just do that with all of the other nearby cliffs, because why have them at all? And good, Dimitri finished the multi-analyzer. We'll now start to go for gas operation, and then we can start to get... Uh, no, we're gonna need long-range... Well, we'll need long-range mineral scanners, but we're gonna... To get fabrication... Oh, we need a multi-analyzer, my bad. Uh, you know what? Maybe we won't go for that then. We'll get the long... Uh, no, we have something. We have free time. Okay, we won't put them on anything, and then we'll just get the multi-analyzer made. Now, fortunately, we got that gold from before. I'm going to put this multi-analyzer right nearby that, and have Butch already working on the multi-analyzer. Great, so we'll just get that, and then we'll start working on spaceships. Good, he needs plasteel and... G plasteel and gold, and just a shitload of components. And does he need advanced co no, he doesn't need advanced components for this. But this is one of the more annoying things to make, because it just needs such a strange variety of resources. Usually a very limiting factor in this playthrough, but fortunately we got through this hurdle. Uh, I, I was not thinking of the gold, but that was very fortunate. 
Wow, we've hardly even tried, and Dimitri is already 250 of the way into researching the gas operation, so I may as well just continue it. He is now at level 17 going on 18 with research. Um, I guess we'll finish that off, and then after that we'll go on to... We don't need cryptosleep caskets, because we've already got a lot of them. We'll probably get fabrication and get to go for uh, Starflight basics. Okay, a group of butt bean travelers are passing. Let's see if they stay. I don't know. You know, I, are any of you psychopaths? If you are psychopaths, I, I will attack you. But if... <laughs> I will attack you and then try to persuade you to join us. Beautiful misogynist psycho... <gasps> A level 19 researcher would win another wimp si- Okay, we are officially going to sever our ties with Buttbeam. Let's draft people. Frank and Butch. Go. Everyone. Go. We are going to get more psychopaths! This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, let's get the- Uh, let's just try to arrest them as they wander through. We'll try to arrest the- just quietly arrest the psychopaths. Uh, who are the ones that we want? They are armed with... Oh, they have decent... Oh, they have SMGs. They're probably not going to be too happy if we start arresting people. Um... Would firing at them be better? I may... Uh, you know what? Let's fire at them. Because if I get too close, we're going to lose the fight. And if I stay far away, we should... We, we haven't lost a single fight yet. So I'm completely overconfident in our abilities, but let's just do it. And take all of you, put you all back here. I'm going to have Dimitri fire. I'll have Neville back there for backup. And let's just have Dimitri go there, and we're just going to fire at them. Are they going to be... Wow, they're just like, no, we just don't really want to get involved in that. Uh, we lost our relations with them. Okay, they're pissed because we attacked them. I want them to get to the point where they want to attack us, though. Because I think if I arrested them... Well, you know what? Maybe! Maybe! Maybe before the re relations go completely sour, because I've never tried to do something like this before, let's see if we can just arrest one of them before they go all out hostile on us. No, stop firing for a moment, for a moment, for a moment. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Okay, let's... Neville may... Uh, would it be worth Neville's death? Uh, I don't know. I would just want to learn at this point. Okay, they are really pissed. Uh, let's go inside. Fortunately, he has on a flak jacket, so he might survive this. And no, Neville will not be okay for this. Okay, fuck. Um, fuck. It's not good to have on flak armor and a cowboy hat. Now. Fortunately, you are gonna... Please be... Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. Christ's sake, please survive. Oh no, okay, uh, we gotta go back. We- fuck, we might have just lost Neville. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Sorry, butt beans. Let's, uh, oh fuck, they shot him in the head. No immediate- no immediate danger after a headshot. Okay. Come on, someone- I want one of your psychopaths to survive so that we can get them. I want to get more psychopaths. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. Just an entire, an entire army full of you people. Even if it means destroying all of my friendships. We are really not very good at taking people alive. Uh, the problem is if we use the machine pistol, they'd have to get too close. Hmm, who could run out there? Frank, you don't seem to be doing much. I'm gonna run you up. Try to get you closer to Neville. We don't want him to die, to be fair. Okay, and we have Bonnie. Is Bonnie a psychopath? She's a gay undergrounder. Did we kill one of the... This would be pretty... Ah, we killed one of the psychopaths. Now, which of you are psychopaths? No, you're not a psychopath. You are also not a psychopath. Did we kill all of the psychopaths? No, you're a wimp and a psychopath. Okay, I'm gonna send Frank out there, because he's got the LMG, and I suspect that that, since it's multi-hit would probably be a better shot at this. Now, can you hit him? You can hit Thabe. Let's see if you can... Oh. That was all for naught. Alright, let's just rescue Neville. Is he gonna survive? He's gonna be alright. 
The Butbeans have plenty of psychopaths among them. Let's just send everybody else out. See if we can try to get Thabe before he gets away, though I doubt it's gonna happen. Was anyone else? Yeah, nobody else is a psychopath. Well, I think it was worth it, nonetheless. <laughs> somehow, somehow it was worth it. Hey, we got more action. They weren't very good. They weren't a very good training partner, anyway. Uh, no, I don't want Butch shooting him. Uh, yeah, Alright, he's dead. Alright, well, we got a lot more human leather. Oh, well, more friends gone. Oh, we got another guy. Let's use him for organs. Alright, capture Bonnie. And Bonnie is gonna die in five hours. That's fine, plenty of time. The only one I was worried about was Neville, and it seems that he's gonna be perfectly well taken care of by Dimitri, so... Although it's soured our relationships with Butbium. Uh, I, I thought that arresting somebody would make them immediately hostile to us, so I tried just opening fire, but in retrospect, maybe Frank would have been a better one to open fire with, because I think that the LMG has more or less lethal shots, you know what I mean? Uh, so that probably would have been good. Anyway, it's been a pretty sour couple days, but it looks like Erica's starting to come around, so we do have one more colonist. We're really good at keep taking care of our own colonists, I'll say that. It's nice having a very homogenous group of colonists who all have more or less the same thing uh, that, you know, can take care of them. My brother Sean died. Oh, man, maybe his brother Sean was one of the people we murdered. Well, but be in this hospital. Hostile, but... You know what? They're gonna be in the hospital soon, too. So, thank you for watching. I think that's quite a lot for one day. We have grinded a lot of our research. Tomorrow, or the next day, we will finish off fabrication. We'll probably get into Starflight Basics soon, too. And then we will bring everything into space! As always, my name is Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!